Hello, today I want to look at a program called GeoGebra and uh, I'm using the Jing project, J-I-N-G project, to uh, experiment with G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A, GeoGebra, uh, to show how students can use this and teachers can use this as a tool in their classrooms to instruct students about um, various different math topics. Today I'm going to look at solving a system of equations. Students often struggle with this concept because they don't know how to graph lines. And that's the first way we teach them how to solve a system of equations is by graphing. Uh, they've been exposed to several different ways of graphing. Uh, the first type of graphing that they were exposed to was using two ordered pairs. And then next they were exposed to graphing by using a slope and the y-intercept. And then finally by using the x and the y-intercept, which is a variation of the, the two points method. Uh, what I would like to do here is just uh, move this, the x and y axis to the center of my screen. And then I want to type in a system of equations. And what I would do with this is I would type in the equation. And before I would press enter, I would ask my students, OK, the equation is 2x plus 3y equals negative 12. Let's talk about that equation. We know it's in standard form because it looks like ax plus by equals c, which is the uh, standard form of an equation. Now, how would one go about finding the x and y intercept? That would be my next discussion. And we would talk about how we substitute in a 0 for the other variable. For example, if we're solving for the x intercept, we would substitute a 0 in for y. And that would allow us to find that our x intercept is negative 6. Do the same thing for our y um, to find our y intercept and substitute a 0 in for the other variable, that being x. And we would find that y um, would be negative 4, or our y-intercept would be 0, negative 4. Then, after I've talked about that, I'll press Enter, and it'll actually graph it for them. Uh, and here's the graphical representation. So for our visual learners, this would be very appropriate for them to look at. For um, students who are not necessarily visual learners, the auditory, the talking them through the process of graphing that would be very helpful, I think. Uh, kinesthetic, the hands-on, the using of the computer, uh, hopefully will will uh, help us motivate those students to be to be more engaged. Um, now, a system of equations is simply two equations, two unknowns, and we can look at the graph and see where they cross or find the intersection point. And usually with a graphing calculator, that's very easy to do. The students are, are well accustomed uh, to that after they've been introduced. The graphing calculator is not as versatile as this program is. And um, let's type in the other equation that I wanted to look at here. 4x minus 5y equals positive 20. And when I graph that, we would also talk about how, how we uh, plot those points or find those intercepts. And then when we look at the graph, we see that those two lines do cross. And we talk about systems of equations being consistent and inconsistent, dependent and independent. Um, the lines themselves are independent of each other. Okay. Um, and that's because they do have an intersection point. If they were dependent lines, it would be the same line. Um, and I have a little story that I talk about using uh, a grandparents' house, parents' house, students living with their parents, going to their grandparents to visit, and how they are dependent upon their parents when they're at a certain age. And we talk about different things like that. Uh, and so that they can get those concepts of being uh, dependent, independent, consistent, and in inconsistent. They consistently do what their parents do when they're five years old. If their parents go to their grandparents' house, then they go to their grandparents' house. That sort of thing. Um, you don't let a five-year-old stay at home alone. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then also talk to them about finding that actual point of intersection. And I am running out of time. Um, so what I will do is I will actually let this program tell me that intersection point. I think it's pretty obvious to the students that that intersection point is uh, 0, negative 4. And I would show the students how they can use this program. They've downloaded it at home if they have. They can use that to check their homework. And they can use it to graph and figure out how this graphing thing all works together. Okay, And if I tell it to do the intersection, boom, there it is. And it gives me the ordered pair 0, negative 4. And then we talk about what that means. That is the point at which those two lines cross. There's no other point at which those two lines will cross. Um, and that's an example of how we use GeoGebra and how I could use the Gene Project to instruct a student who might be absent on that day or might just be having a little trouble. I can record this video, send it to them, and there you go. Thanks. Bye.